All right, what's up, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Lil Donnie from the Wild Bunch. I'm out here with the two beautiful Nunu. ladies. Tell nickname. What's your nickname? Nunu. Nunu. What's your nickname? Karma. Karma. I'm out here with Nunu and Karma. We're going to ask the ladies some questions tonight and see if they can give us some real things. All right. First is you. First is you. Would you have a threesome? Yeah. She ain't playing right away. What about you? All right, now this is what I had the questions with somebody the other day. Is it two girls or two guys and one girl considered a threesome? A threesome is two girls. So what's two guys and a girl? <laughs> a oh, no, keep it real. Cece said it's a train. We want to know the truth. I mean, honest to God, honest to God, it's still all technically a threesome. Because a threesome is three people, so regardless if it's two guys or two girls, it's still considered a threesome. This question here, I don't really want to ask. Now ask look, no, because two girls and the guy, right? The two girls can eat each other. I mean, have fun with each other. I want to be respectful now, right? And then the guy, obviously, he's happy. He's in heaven. Now, on the other side... What about the two guys and the one girl? It's just the pleasure of the one girl. No, you don't. They don't do nothing nah, to each but other. Honest to God, I feel like when it comes down to a girl having two guys, it's not for the men's pleasure. It's for the woman's pleasure at that point. That's what I'm saying. So the two guys don't do nothing with no, each other. No, absolutely not. They just with the girl. Yeah, but then, like I said, at that point, if a girl is having two guys, that pleasure is not for the men. It's for the woman. Because she's fantasizing about having two men at one time. So it's her pleasure, it's her on, that pleasure one. on that one. Let me ask you this. Would you ever have sex in a car oh. or a truck? Hell yeah! That's a regular! We got one here. That's a regular! Uh-oh, let's play it. Hey. Let's play it. Are you initiating it or you just let it play out? No, I'm it's... initiating that shit. I'm sorry. No. You gonna give me this. this it, if you do something like that, it's because it's in the moment and you really want it that bad. Uh -huh. So like 9 out of 10, but we most fucking in the car, she's initiating that shit. She's because, rubbing his head and yeah, touching, like, a lot of touching. It, it could be anything. Like you initiating that because... Females have urges, men have urges too, but a female's urge is way higher than a man's urge. So females have this sense of, I want it now, I'm not trying to wait. So if it happens in the car, nine times ten, it's a female being like, all right, I'm not trying to wait for this. We're not going to wait till we get home. We're going to do this right now. So that's the same thing as a, like outside period. Yeah. yeah. Like an outside I mean, it'd be, the it'd car. It'd be a mutual, mutual thing, but nine times out of ten, it's because you don't want to wait. Y'all heard it here first. They gave some good answers. We appreciate them. Make sure you go get my book, Wild Bunch, The Dimensions of a Brownsville Millionaire. Out now and on Amazon. And stay safe out there. Stay safe out there. Say thank you to the ladies. It's just a natural thing. Like, if you, if people have legit fantasies, like, and women feel like it's not okay to express your fantasies, like, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. If you want to sit here and be like, I want to suck 20 dicks in one fucking day, that is your fantasy. You want to suck 20 dicks in one day. Look but that you shouldn't be her face no, like that ass, you, you shouldn't be ashamed of anything that you do like if that's what you want to do that's what you want to do and if you care about what somebody think you're crazy because not not even that nine times out of the ten most people don't act on what they do people will sit here and have the mindset that they want to do that type of shit but feel embarrassed by the world so they won't do it but if a person if they meet a person that actually does it they consider them nasty but you're just as nasty as them for having the thought that you want to do that you just don't act on it yeah yeah, I, see, one thing about sex, everybody take it differently. Some do it, like, the people get married because of sex. And then they wonder why the relationship don't work. That's true. Because you're not getting married for the love of the person or the no, compatible. You get, you get married for the consistency of It's the lust. Yeah, you right. lust the person, you meet them, yeah. you lust them, you, have, you get married. And now when the sex ain't good no more, because sex... How many times you gonna have sex with the same person? As far as oh, we got another person here. What's your name? What's your name? Say your name. It's Mariah. You wanna give an answer to the sex talk? Talk your talk. Would you have a threesome? Would you have a threesome? Come on. I would. Now, would you initiate it, or if he initiated? It's the girl. So you gotta pick up. Yes. No. Yes. Uh oh! No. Oh, we got three. Oh, come on now! I'm picking. No, I'm picking. You 
mean, I'm you know, picking because I'm picking because my dude know I got this thing. That's okay. why I'm picking. But see, that's what I'm saying. And so, see, niggas only looking at ass. And if and if he gonna be attracted, I need my problem though. My problem with that is. When one person picks, you're picking based off of what you want to no, do. No, it's not. No, no, you're no, not no, picking no. mutually. I'm picking. I'm not saying I'm picking. I'm not going to be selfish. Okay, so then, you then, you then, last. So then why I'm don't you pick to together pick. then? We can pick together. He just said, dude, he got to pick with you. I got to pick. He said, we can pick together. Honest, the guy, I'm the same. I'm the type of person. I can bring some possibilities and you can have a final say. Yeah, but if I'm dating you, cool I want it to be like a mutual thing. Like, let's go out, baby. Like, yeah, you think she fine? I think she fine too. Let's take her. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, but that's communication, though. You know what kind of man? I mean, you know what kind of girl? You know, All right, let I me ask you, you know this. Let me ask you this. You know what what if your girlfriend that you cool with say, would you think she's scheming on your man and let her do it or no? That's a good right, one. Come now, on listen, now. When it comes to friends, that's, that's a different ball game. It's a different ball game. See what I mean? It's a different ball game when it comes to friends. Because at that point, it's, it, it gets to a sense of... She want right. to fuck my man anyway. Right. So now you're not... Really what you think? Right. Come on. I agree. But, I agree. Know, also, it goes both ways, too. Because if she not on him and she y'all want to go hang out all the time, now niggas be insecure. Now it's, oh, you always want to go with her? Well, what y'all want to... So it goes both ways. It's it it somebody else going on and so y'all can pick together. I would stay and be like, oh, yeah. I, I like her. And you yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do a threesome with anybody that I fully know that's like close to me. So you heard it there first. Make sure y'all listen up. We got some good things going on. Get back to y'all.